Welcome back to Primetime News. Special welcome to folks on OneSpotMedia.com. Up first this evening, the Jamaica Constabulary Force is this evening appealing to citizens to exercise caution as they engage in political activities leading up to the local government elections. This following a gruesome incident where a party supporter lost her leg during a motorcade on nomination day. Now, as Romardo Lyons reports, the Jamaica Physiotherapy Association says it could be a difficult journey forward for the victim. It was a scene like this, gyration and enjoyment as is customary on nomination day. But the enjoyment descended into chaos. Shouts of political slangs turned into screams of panic. And it was no longer green for the Jamaica Labour Party or orange for the People's National Party. Just the red of blood as a human life was in limbo. A woman is among two persons injured during nomination day festivities on Thursday in White Horses, St. Thomas. The extent of the other person's injury is unknown. However, the woman's leg was severed from her body after this truck she was traveling on hit an embankment. Her daughter here being comforted Friday morning. The police have since reinforced the need for people to follow road safety protocols during political motorcades. It is customary that especially when we have elections and so on, that persons are really very rejuvenated and persons want to give their support to their respective candidates and parties. He said that has to be done carefully. But what is the common practice? Persons sit on windows and they hang off doors and so on of vehicles. This is dangerous. If you do that, then the chances are something could hit you, another vehicle could hit you, you could fall through the window, you could fall off the door, and you could suffer serious injuries and maybe become fatal. So persons, we are really, the police is asking that people abide by the law. The woman's mother recalling the series of activities after hearing about the incident. Somebody just left the yard. I go to hospital, I go to hospital, then in an X-ray with her, then from X-ray to theater. When I did till after 11 last night, they, she come out of theater, but I never see her. Apart from the leg being severed. I must say two or three or two up and the next foot cut off too. Now the Jamaica Physiotherapy Association says unfortunately, the financial implications for recovery can be substantial. The woman and her family now faces. The cost of prosthetic devices ongoing rehabilitation sessions, home modifications, and potential lost income. It's crucial, he adds, that focus also be placed on comprehensive and effective rehabilitation to optimize the individual's quality of life, both in terms of the individual's well-being and their ability to contribute meaningfully to society. Physical therapy, occupational therapy, and psychological support. With 17 days left to the local government elections, it's left to be seen whether this will be an example for much safer conduct during political motorcades. Romarda Lyons, TVJ News.